Hello and welcome to ITNs. Um, so in the last session we saw about the storage accounts right? and we went through the uh, what are the types of uh, storage accounts uh, that we can have in Azure and then in the, in the next session we actually discussed about the blocks, uh, block uh, storage right and then we also talked about uh, the various replication methods, the uh, Replic uh, the policies and the tiers, right? We we discuss on that, right? Now in this session, what we are going to do is we are going to start with uh, storage accounts. We are going to go to the labs uh, and to the Azure portal, and we are going to start with Azure uh, storage accounts, right? So uh, with then uh, we are going to create a container, uh, one for pictures and one for videos, right? And then we are going to see what are the things that are available with storage accounts and uh, for uh, for the containers. All right. Great. I'll see you in the session then. Thank you. Welcome back to ITNs. So now since we have gone through the earlier sessions about the storage and what are the types of storage that we have in Azure. Now let's get started in creating um, a storage account and then we will also configure containers that is the blob storage um, and upload some files and see how we can access them. Right. So for that let me first go ahead and uh, uh, I've already logged into the Azure portal. Now I'll go ahead and create a resource. So I'll create create a resource. Uh, I've clicked on new resource, and in this, what I'll do is I'll type storage accounts. All right, storage account. Yeah, and yeah. So now um, th this is uh, the one, and you, you can see that uh, Microsoft Azure provides scalable, durable cloud storage backup and recovery solutions for any data big or small it works with the infrastructure you already have to cost effectively enhance your existing applications and business continuity strategy and provide the storage required by a cloud applications including unstructured text or binary data such as video audio and images right great so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and cl click on create all right, and this is my uh, first page for creating uh, the storage account, right? So, yeah, uh, my free subscription has already expired, so I've changed it to PSEGO model, okay? And now, uh, out here, I'm going to use the same old uh, resource group. So, as you see, I mean, though I have upgraded uh, from free tier to um, the PSEGO, but my all my resources are not lost. So if if you want to keep the resources, you have to do it in a specified time. If you delay it, uh, then your uh, all your data will be lost. All right. So, anyways, um, so I'll click on Pro IT RG One. All right, and then I I need to give a uh, name of the storage account. So I'll do as three six nine Pro IT. Okay. So I've given as. Uh, 369 Pro IT storage, and out here I'm going to leave it as a default uh, that is standard. Okay, and now out here, I mean, the account uh, kind you have two options one is um, version 2, and the another one is uh, version 1. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll select on version 2, right? Replication there, uh, th this is the another topic which we had discussed in the last session. LRS, June redundant, uh, geo redundant, read only, or sorry, read access, geo redundant storage, and geo zone redundant storage, and read access, geo zone redundant storage. So we had seen all this in details in the last session, right? So for now, what I'll do is I'll let it be as default and then click on next. 
and out here I have to make sure that uh, my connectivity method is selected as public and all networks right? so that we can access the files and folders which we are going to upload here over the internet so I leave uh, as it is uh, because it is on public and all networks all right this one also will leave as it is it is uh, going to be the Microsoft uh, network routing that is uh, default and we leave as it is then I go on next this is about data production and um, it talks about how you want to uh, manage your data so the option is do you want to turn on soft delete for blob so uh, so in that case what happens is it uh, actually helps in recovering the data even though we have uh, marked for delete okay so that is the advantage it will do a soft delete for the data right then the next one is turn on soft delete for file items okay it's um, the same option that we want to select if we want to do a soft delete for files all right so and then uh, versioning okay so for versioning we leave it as um, I mean if we want to enable the versioning then uh, it actually provides uh, the versions that are available um, I mean like uh, near the file versioning system so for now uh, I'll leave it as default I am not going to make any changes and then I click on next alright so here we are with the advanced tab and here is what uh, the security options are so secure transfer required I'll keep it as enabled I love blob pu pu public access I leave it as enabled TLS we have 1 1.1 and 1.2 I'll leave it as default here and then um, data link storage uh, we don't want to use data link storage uh, uh, for now we are not uh, going to perform any analytics on the data which is going to be stored out here but in case if you want to do it then you have to make it as enabled but for now uh, I mean we don't we are not going to use it for data analysis so we will leave it as a default as default uh, disabled right then next is tags so here we are going to select name and storage account and tag as project work right then I click on next which it gives me the option to review the configuration which I have selected in the earlier one right um, I go through it and looks good to me so I click on create so as you can see it shows me it gives me an option I mean it actually projects on my screen that the deployment is in progress all right we'll give it a moment all right so deployment is done and then we can click on go to resource so now we have created the storage account uh, uh, we can look, go through the details out here all right so these are the configuration and the settings uh, total egress and ingress uh, that is the incoming outgoing and incoming t traffic average latency request breakdown so as, as of now there is nothing uh, because we have just created uh, but yeah we can relook uh, on these things uh, once our data is back on right okay great so here um, we have uh, quite a few options so uh, containers file access file shares tables and queues all right so for here what we are, we want to do is for this session we are going to talk about containers right so containers for blob right so what we we have done is we have clicked on container now let's click on uh, add container all right and we give a name as uh, so we will do is 369 pro IT pictures all right and then uh, we have the uh, access level so uh, it's uh, like private no anonymous access blob and container any anonymous uh, read access for containers and blobs so uh, for us the for accessing these files over internet what I'll do is I'll select the third one 
right and here it gives me a small warning all container and blob data can be used by anonymous request client right so we are fine with it and then we click on create all right so now her uh, container is already created which is good for storing pictures so I'll go ahead and click on this and as you can see there is no data out here right because uh, we've just created correct so what we'll do is we'll click on uh, we'll upload a data out here so click on upload okay so I have selected the file that I want to upload and then I click on upload Right, as you can see the files is uploaded um, and uh, uh, I don't want to upload any further files so I can click on close and then uh, I click on this file so this will provide me with a link um, that I can actually use to access the file so I'll click on copy and then I open a new browser and paste So that was the file which I had uploaded and it works fine. So as you can see it's on uh, blob and it's on internet right. So I was able to access the file from, in, uh, from Azure blob. Great. Now let's look at how we can uh, create a container for uh, videos. All right. So for that, what I'll do is I'll click on container and I'll do the same way 369 Pro IT videos. Okay. And again, the same container anonymous read access. Okay. And then I click on create. Okay. So the container is already created. I click on uh, this one and then I click on upload and I'll upload a small video out there okay so uh, this is the video which I want to upload and then I can uh, click on upload but yeah in case if there's a file which is already there then you can actually select the option overwrite if file already exists so what it will do is in case if the file is uh, already there then it is going to overwrite it okay great so i'll i'm ready and i'm i've clicked on upload okay so it's about 19 mb file and then i'll click on uh, close yeah so as you can see file is already uploaded great now um, like how we did for pictures uh, we clicked on the file and I get the link out here I click on copy okay and then I again open the URL and paste All right. so as you can see video is getting streamed from uh, Azure portal all right so yeah uh, we were able to upload the uh, file also and upload the video also out there all right great uh, that's all guys for uh, for this session with this session you will be able to create a container on um, Azure uh, but yeah before that you'll have to create a storage account right great um, that's all guys for now uh, please do subscribe to the channel and hit on the bell icon to get uh, notifications also if you're liking this video then please do click on the like button all right until next time keep watching and keep learning thank you